Hey everybody, welcome to Physics 111. I'm Brian Uthie, I'm gonna be your instructor for the summer. My preferred pronouns are he and him. So in this video, we're gonna get started on module zero. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through how to navigate a module because all of them are gonna be structured roughly the same. So we're gonna use module zero as that example. So I'm gonna minimize me and I'm gonna move over so what you should be seeing right now is the physics 111 homepage. so you've probably already watched the navigation of canvas video which was this first step and you've probably gone to module zero and it redirected you to the module so the other way besides this link to get to the module is just coming up here and clicking modules and so here it'll take you into this module period page and what you might see is something that looks like this and so if you have just these these gray banners all you need to do is click to be able to access the content and likewise for all of these and so we were probably on this page here where the video is linked and so this is the first page which within the module and so to navigate the modules pages, all you need to do is just go down to the right, bottom right corner and click next. And that's gonna take you to the next page within the module. And so here is the module overview. This is going to be located in every single module that we do. It's going to give you a quick overview of what kind of concepts we're gonna be talking about, how those concepts relate to the overall course learning objectives here, um, which are the things that you should be able to do by the end of this course. And then the module learning objectives. And so these module learning objectives are things that you should be able to do by the end of the module. And so these are gonna be a perfect thing to come back to uh, when you're studying for the quizzes and the exams because the questions are gonna come directly from, from these abilities. So you know, we're assessing whether or not you can describe some applications of physics. So if you come back here to study for the exam, these learning objectives, if you're guiding your review based off of these, um, there's a pretty good bet that all of the questions are coming from, well, there's a 100% bet that all of the questions are coming from these learning objectives or related to the learning objective in some way. So if you're still unsure after reviewing some of these learning objectives, you just have no idea after looking through the notepad in the textbook, that's the perfect time to reach out for me, reach out to me, um, because all of these concepts build on one another. So make sure that you, you are, are pretty sound with these, with these learning objectives and that you could explain them to someone else if somebody asked you to. And so finally, the last part in the overview page is the to-do list. So in all of the modules, they're gonna have the to-do list when all the assignments are due. For module zero, it's a little different because um, this is mainly just housekeeping tasks, um, looking through the syllabus, trying to just familiarize yourself with how everything's working in this course, uh, what the academic integrity and just different policies are of the course. Uh, learning the online homework system that we'll be using Expert TA, and then gauging your math skills and whether you need to do some, some further review of the math skills before starting in modules one and two, because they'll be using those skills. So the due dates are listed as Monday, June 15th, the first day. Uh, but the submissions will be accepted without penalty until Tuesday, June 16th at 11.59 p.m. This is mainly, I, I do strongly suggest that you finish it on Monday uh, because it, it really is there to keep you on track because you also need to complete modules one and modules two uh, by the end of the week on Saturday night. Uh, so it's, it's a lot of things to kind of work through, but this is mainly just course navigation, just getting you situated, uh, and the real content is being delivered in module one and module two. So clicking next, 
here's where you're going to find just all the different services and any questions that you might have, technology questions, stuff like that. These are all links, so you just need to click on the link and it'll redirect you to the proper page and you should be able to to find whatever services you need either through this response page or the directory page and then here this is our our overall course discussion board so this is going to be open throughout the entire course it provides an avenue for you to be able to ask questions to either your fellow classmates or me um, it's mainly for questions that you might have that somebody else might benefit from that you know somebody else might have the same exact question that you do this is a perfect spot to ask those questions and so just to kick this space off since we will be using discussion boards I thought it was a good good point for you to take the time to introduce yourself um, with what your preferred name is and preferred pronouns and if you're comfortable a just a little something about yourself because we will be using discussion boards in this course um, for homework and it's just a good spot for, for you to get to know each other. So I started that off, just gave a little bit about me, what the work was going to be like for this week. And then uh, just, just a little something about myself, where I'm at and a uh, picture of me and my dog to brighten, brighten things up. So all you need to do is just, you know what what you like to be called and what your preferred pronouns are and you'll receive the full five points if you do that keep in mind that as we we use these discussion boards um, we want to be respectful at all times you know we're all working towards the same collective goal we're not competing um, with each other for grades um, you know my grades not dependent on somebody else's grade so if we can help each other out and get through these questions and when we're stuck uh, to get that help and that feedback, then we're all benefiting from that. Because if you're able to teach somebody else, then you definitely know the, the concepts and the principles. And if, if you're struggling with something and you get help for that, then you're not stuck anymore. So, you know, it's a win-win all around. So again, as you're going through that and navigating these discussion boards, keep in mind to be respectful and, and um, you know, keep in mind that we are working towards the same goal here. <clears throat> so the next page is the student note packet page. Uh, they are in PDF format and Word format. Uh, it's your choice. So all you need to do is just click on it and download it and then you can access it for the submission you don't need to print these out and write on them um, you can recreate the note packets with your own paper but you are going to have to to recreate everything so for for diagrams and stuff like that are included uh, you're going to need need to recreate that um, because I'm going to be looking at everything just to make sure that there aren't any misconceptions or um, I guess misunderstandings. It's a way for me to be able to give you feedback on, on the different concepts and examples that are covered in the note packets. And so within the note packets, there's gonna be some highlighted points that will have a, a video label associated with them. And so you can find those videos located here on this page. You can either click the play button to Everybody play the video in line with the page, or if you want to open up a new tab, you can just click the, the title and it opens it up in a new tab. And so once you're done with the note packet and you've scanned it, it needs to be scanned into a single file please and double check that it is formatted the right way so it's like facing upwards and it's not this this horizontal formatting once you're done with that all you need to do is just go to submit assignment up at the top that top blue button choose the file and then you just click submit assignment and then it submits the assignment for you 
My office hours are going to be Monday from 9 to 10, Tuesday from 10 to 11.30, Wednesday from 4 to 5.30, and then Thursday from 10 to 11.30. And you can access those via this link right here. So all you need to do is just copy that in and it's going to redirect you um, to a Microsoft, Microsoft Teams meeting page. And so you can just join as a guest within your browser through your phone. If you're trying to do it through your phone, you will have to download the Microsoft Teams app. That's free, um, but you can just join as a guest and uh, it'll just take you to, I guess, my meeting space um, where we'll be able to, to share screens, use a whiteboard and, and all the various things that I can do to, to help you with whatever questions you have. If you have any issues trying to, to navigate this, again, just reach out to me and uh, we can try and troubleshoot it. For module zero, this is, um, this is just giving you a chance to practice scanning your documents because this is a requirement of the course, you being able to scan your documents and submit them. Again, you don't have to print anything out in this course. You can recreate everything on your own paper, you just need to recreate it so it looks exactly like um, the documents. Uh, the different things that you can use, Microsoft Office Lens and the instructions are located here. You can use Google Drive, that works pretty well too. Uh, Cam Scanner if you want as well, but that one doesn't have the resolution um, as great as Office Lens or Google Drive. And so, yeah, you're just going to fill out the document and then uh, submit that. And it's just a way for, for you to give information about yourself to me and as a way to practice scanning. And then here, this is the second part of the homework. This is to get everything set up with our online homework system that we're going to be using. This is a required part of the course. Um, you can sign up for two weeks for free, but eventually you're going to have to pay $32.50 to access this homework system, which is required. All you need to do is click this link. It's gonna take you into a, a new tab, and then it's gonna be re redirecting you on how to sign up for the course. So moving down to the next spot, this is the math skills assessment. So come down here to this link here. This is going to give you the math skills assessment. And this is a way for you to determine whether or not you are ready in terms of a, a math standpoint to move on to module one or module two. And so it's gonna just cover some algebra and trigonometry basics that we're going to use pretty frequently within this course. Um, the answers to the math skills assessments here and if you get the majority of the problems right then you, you're definitely in shape uh, to move on if not there are some extra practice that we have here the access the supplementary algebra and trigonometry modules that can get you up to speed pretty quickly and if you're still having trouble then just reach out to me and we can we can figure out what to do next And then finally, the academic, academic integrity quiz. You want to look at the syllabus first before taking it um, because all that information is located within the syllabus and listed here as well. And then finally, we reach the algebra basics. So this is a part of the extra stuff within the modules. So this is the extra math basics. So if you click, click, kept clicking page next, like I just did, it takes you into the optional review. So just keep in mind that it will take you into this optional part that you don't have to do, to do unless you need that extra practice from the math standpoint. So that covers all of module zero. Then you would just move on to the next modules when you're ready and just keep moving through the course. So don't wait till the due dates, start them as soon as possible and good luck with everything.
please reach out if you have any questions. I'm going to be here um, through email and all the different avenues that you can reach me.